they go, that way, there's a the minivan. So I'm at my home and I'm going to wrap some panels today. So Wayne cut these out and I just gave him a bit of a sand and tidied them up a bit better. Um, and I'm going to wrap them. So we got switch panel. I think this is going to be wrapped in, I think we go with the the light grey. And we'll put that and we'll put that in there. Then it goes inside this piece. We'll have it that way. Like that, and this piece here will be in the black, I think. So then you got your contrast of the three colours. And then this goes on here. With, oh, I haven't got the panel, but the panel goes on there with the uh, USB, cigarette socket, and the 12 volt thing. 12 volt gauge. So that's going to look cool. So I just got to finish rounding over these edges. And I'm just going to do it with the electric sander. This is the material I'm using. So to soften up the material, so it stretches a bit easier, I'm just going to chuck it in the sun. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. The bottle has been in the sun for about 10 minutes now, and it should be a bit more stretchy. So we'll take it over and we'll vinyl. Uh, so to do this, I'm using contact adhesive and I'm just gonna put a little bit in a container and just got a brush. You can hit it with it through a spray gun, but a brush is easier because I'm only doing these two little panels here, so brush will do. So I finally got the lid open. I had to use bloody multi grips on it and some thinners. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. So it's been about three to five minutes or exactly or exactly how long it took me to find a Stanley knife. Um, this is a pretty shitty one, but I think it'll do. You got this piece, goes there. Piece goes here. So the panels are done. They look good. So we're going to use this for the other piece, white vinyl. Alright, so we've got these two. So it goes, this is going to go over top of that. And then, these are going to go like that. It doesn't look that great. So what I'm going to do, is going to wrap this in a sandwich bag, tape it up, and what I'm actually going to do is just going to stick it on there with double sided tape and I'm going to use body filler and just make it so this board actually rises up to there all the way around. Same with this panel too, I'll do the same with that. So that way you've got a nice smooth um, lines coming down there. So two pieces taped up. Uh, so this is the stuff I'm using. Good old Rage Gold. It is really good. Easy to sand. Looks good. Nice pace. Just using one of these to scoop it out. I don't think I need that much. I just, yeah. Got half of that. We got that. Just gonna add the hardener. How much hardener? I don't know. Just gonna guess. I think that little bit would be enough. I can't find any gloves, so I'm gonna try and not get it on me. See how I go. It's actually pretty fun to do, I like doing, doing this. 
So I'm just going to mix it until all that blue stuff goes on in. I'm going to start on the second piece now. So I finished with doing all the um, body feel. So not to the really hard part. I'm gonna find all this and it looks hard. See how I go. Wish me luck. Switch panel looks so good, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Now I'm just going to pre-drill the hull. Off the wires, put the switch panel in the van. I'm back at the van. So this is where the switch panel's going. So this is where the lights are and got USB sockets and all that stuff. So I'm just wiring them up. The cigarette sockets are just, um, just put these plugs on. So that's good. Um, and then these two wires go to the uh, four different lights. Yeah. Switch panels in, it looks awesome. I love it. I showed Wayne, he likes it too. So, really happy with that. So, if you want to see more of the van, please subscribe.